Ah! Oh my god, wait, hold on. I have to get my notes because I took some. Oh yes, I'm hoping I remember all of my mental notes. Oh my goodness, wait, you hope you remember what? All of my mental notes. Oh. Did you make some mental notes? I did. Wait, first of all, we're both blonde. How amazing is this? It, all three of us. Oh my god! Okay, wait, what is your little puppy's name? Vava. Va of course, of course. Vava, my dear. Little Vava. Um, so first of all, Mark McQueen, right here. Hello. We're just getting into it. How do you feel about that? Right, let's do it. Okay, I'm perspiring a little because it's very warm outside. <laughs> you literally, she literally entered the building 35 seconds ago. Wow, and you're outside. like, you're a great guest already. Off to the races. Look at this! Okay, um, how are you? I'm good. I am literally so happy that you agreed to do this. I I'm can't so even happy tell you. You're such a brilliant musician. Thank you, you write your own music, you play, you sing. It's like such an emotional experience. But then it's also pop and like feels like it 80s ish, but modern. Like, is that correct or no? Is yes, that like I mean, a bad way to describe it? No, I, I mean, that w whether I like it or not, which I do like it. But I'm yeah, like, I mean, I think that's kind of cool, to be honest. Can, can you imagine, <laughs> like, can you imagine I'm sitting here with this hair and being like, no, no, 80s. No. <laughs> I look like I just left. Oh so I look like I just left a White Snake concert. <laughs> A big Bowie fan and Madonna and yeah, I mean, in, it, there's like traces of that in your music. For sure. But I do definitely want um, the outcome to be definitely joyous, triumphant, um, but also like that crying on the dance floor thing. Like I was listening to, I'm just gonna make sure I get the name correct. Everyone bails on me. I don't know if you noticed your song count go up in the past like few days because I've just like literally listened to it back to back to back to back to back. But so emotional. Like I remember listening to it the first time on the subway and I was like, oh my God, I think it's something that we've all felt. I'm so glad that you asked specifically about everybody bails on me because that's one of the few that, not the whole concept, or the concept and not the whole song, just like dropped into my head as that core line where I was in the shower and I think I'd been texting with people and I knew that I couldn't have uh, four plans in one day, yeah. but I texted four people and yeah. I was like, made all the plans. Yeah. All four of them canceled. It was like a Monday or something. And I was wow. like, I just got in the shower and I was so bummed. Yeah. <laughs> and I just was like, in my head, I was like, the rejection I have experienced in the past is worse than any I could face today or in the future. So I find there's absolutely no reason to lose my mind. If there was some kind of overarching like message of, for myself and what I do, yeah, that crescendo into the, I guess I'll go out alone. Yeah. Like super triumphant, and yeah. even in the face of things not going the way that you want them to. Yeah, kind of finding power in your own self to be like, yeah. I got this. Ah. Okay, I just need to relax a little because I'm just so excited. And I have so many questions. I feel like I should probably feel like Bob might be a little distracted. I think Bob's doing great. Okay, I like the energy. You can stay. You can stay. You got the approval. Yeah. Well, wait. Where can people hear you play? Because when I saw you play, it's like what a show. Yeah, it's definitely a lot of fun. Um, I'm kind of in a weird like moment of taking a breath, especially after like the pandemic and everything. You yeah. think that that would be the breath. But that I was kind of, it felt so. like holding my breath. Yeah. And once it was kind of done, yeah. I'm like, okay, I'm gonna write again. I'm gonna get into this. So I'll definitely have some shows um, coming soon. Okay. Because I've got a little, I'm working basically right now on a lot of new music. Wait, are you gonna have a new album then? At least a new album. Possibly. So exciting. Possibly more. Yeah. Wait, because you released a single guest list, but that wasn't attached to any album, correct? In theory, it was. Because I love that guy. Thank you. I love oh, it. Thank you. So good. It's definitely another one of those, you know, Catch triumphant you. outsider yes. anthems. In fact, I was just, who was it? It was you and, um, it was another one of your interviews that you did and you were saying, oh, I think it was you and um, Lourdes. I think you were like, we're Clars. Oh, like, yes. I was like, watch it. I was like, literally same. And that's what Guest List is about. It's like, totally. listen, if you want a gatekeep, fine. Just yes. know that your gate is going to get torn down. <laughs> I love you so much. It would be so much yes. cheaper to just open the gate. Totally. Let me just let us in, folks. I'm curious. Do you feel like this the persona that's attached to the music is something that you cultivated? Or do you feel like it's a part of yourself that has existed that you let live? 
Does that sound weird? No, not at all. In I'm fact, so curious. cultivate is a very good word and good way to put it because I definitely, and this kind of came from my own instincts, but also like a huge Patti Smith fan. Oh my God, me too. Amazing. Wait, I'm literally obsessed. Yes, me too. So she talks about how her dad was always like, his biggest thing was cultivating your mind and that the mind is like a country that you have to like build and cultivate and all this. So I'm kind of always been obsessed with not just putting things out there or trying to become something. It's always like planting seeds, really sitting with ideas, living in them, exploring them. And then the everything is sort of coming from that. Um, so yes and yes, like uh, I did cultivate it and create it but it's definitely something it's always i'm trying to be what i'm trying to make in music in real life do you feel like there's a mission attached to all of this in addition to being self-expression for yourself i think for a long time it's been that cultivating of the mind and cultivating yeah. of the self yeah. and um essentially it's the self-expression aspect of it and now lately for whatever reason i have just I think it's maybe coming out of the pandemic, I don't know, but I've been bitten by this bug and I'm just like, world domination is like, oh my God, I love this. Wait. The only world thing on my mind. domination. And what would that look like to you? Um, like a full, big career, you know? Like yeah. I would love so much to just take what I've done and now, and of course it's not gonna happen overnight. Like my dream right now for the next like three months, like get me in gay bars like all over America, you know what I mean? Yes. 20 yes. people a club, like whatever, and then yes. it builds and builds and builds. And totally. Certainly not like a, I don't want to be on the Grammys like next year, but. But we do. <laughs> <laughs> back to that but, gate. <laughs> exactly, back to that gate. <laughs> Open it, folks. <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's a journey for sure. Yeah, but I feel like you were like making that journey and you were making strides and what's exciting about you is it's all there. Like you're a good little human, you have a good spirit, you're super talented. God, your voice, like and the fact that you can write and play your own music. Like I feel like a lot of people can't necessarily say that. Look at this one. What a wow, we've already talked so long and I just feel so... That's alright. I got nowhere to be. I told you I'm off to I love it. <laughs> um, should we shotgun a white claw? Actually, should we take a little nip of something? I don't know. Could that be fun? <laughs> Where's Dana? Know, but yeah. That's God damn it. The service at this point, though. The kidding. service here. Keep in mind, it's not even open yet. Are you more inclined to write when you're happy, sad, or somewhere in between? Like, when do you feel like you're creative? I hate to say this, but like, juice is up for that one. I, I kind of have to be happy really yeah or not yeah if I'm like in the process of working through something if I'm sad I'm like a, it, it because if I'm sad I'm like generally like in the physical depressed kind of where it's like yeah. I don't want to do anything yeah let alone like examine right. those feelings and write a song yeah but um yeah so I kind of have to be generally pretty like good so it's almost like you have to be happy and have worked through that to then reflect back and write about that experience that you went through. It's all about reframing the past into something beautiful rather than... God, look at these just like... Yeah, I can't process songwriter, things in real writer time. Here. You're like a little poet. Yeah. That's, yeah. On, on like it side. really is like, it's a poetry. That may be another thing coming is that I've been writing poetry for a long time. Finally, what? I was like... Why don't I put out the book? You should, 100%. Yeah. I think we're going to. Wow, oh, I'm so Multitudes. excited. Multitudes. Multitudes! Look at you! Also, I was like, can you tell? I was I got all these you Easter so eggs from your other interviews. I'm like... <laughs> I love that you did your research. Mm -hmm. Everyone else could um, take a little note from you. Just kidding. <laughs> um, Thank you so much for doing this. Thank you. This for like me. literally, I don't even know how I'm gonna edit this down to like five to seven minutes because there's so many nuggets of like. Find a way. <gasps> okay. Thank you for watching. Yay! We're gonna go shotgun a what is it? White claw. A white claw. <laughs>